for taking the time to participate in this training course today. I am one of the clinical instructors from the Life Support Training Center under the Academic Training Affairs. As you well know, we are facing an unprecedented crisis in the form of a COVID-19 pandemic. The healthcare system around the world is having to cope with the snowballing growth rate in infections and with that a surge in medical complications and rise in patient and community outbreaks. Moreover, healthcare providers are having to put themselves in harm's way to treat their patients. The Life Support Training Center has prepared this video to help healthcare workers to navigate around how to conduct patient resuscitation in a confirmed or suspected COVID-19 case. It will demonstrate the use and removal of personal protective equipment, as well as team dynamics and the use of appropriate medical equipment. These guidelines have been developed using the King Faisal Specialist Hospital and Research Center policies and procedures in line with the American Heart Association's recommendations. As you can see, the video has been segmented to help illustrate the important aspects of patient resuscitation. Your clinical area may not have a mechanical chest compression device, in which case it is recommended that you have an additional healthcare provider to assist with compressions. We hope that this short demonstration has been of benefit to your clinical department. As healthcare providers, we often think of our patients almost to the exclusion of our own well-being. Nevertheless, our health shouldn't be compromised at the expense of providing care to others. Please keep in mind, when providing care to patients, scene safety takes the utmost priority. Good morning, Mr. Ahmad. Mr. Ahmad. Mr. Ahmad. We have 52 years old male admitted two days ago, confirmed positive COVID-19, complaint of short of breath, yes. fever, coughing, and I found him collapse. Okay, thank you very much. Guys, please, then do connect the patient to the monitor, please, and after that we need to cover the patient before we connect the condition device. And later on, Champi will take care of uh, defibrillator, recording. Bindu will take care of uh, meditation. Mr. Ian, Mr. Ala, please, if you can help us to incubate the patient as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay, 
What we have? What type of presence we have, ladies? We have the ventricular fibrillation. Ventricular fibrillation. Okay. Okay, guys. It shook up a rhythm. Okay. And he's here. Okay. We need to clear the patient. Okay, everybody. Chanting. Deliver shock 200 joules. The fibrillation is this. Chanting at 200 joules. All clear. Everyone clear. Everybody clear. 200 joules. Okay, we we will not just condition till you incubate the patient. It's ready, you can start CPR. Okay. okay, I will start now 100 to 120 just condition per minute. And the piece connect the patient to the monitors and uh, uh, to the respiratory. The patient is started, I have good uh, volume and anti del CO2 reading. Right, we get kind of that per minute. We prepare one minute bomb in the infant, give it to standby. One minute bomb in the infant, prepared and ready. Two minutes fast. Two minutes fast. Okay, guys, stop the chest condition. Still, the patient has ventricular fibrillation. Mr. Ala, please can you voice the ventilation? Ventilator. Okay. We need to deliver shock at 300 joules defibrillation. Ventilator will start by. Charging at 300. Yeah. Make sure everybody is clear. Do not touch the patient, please, guys. All clear. Shock delivered. Okay. Resume CBR again. 100 120. Ventilation is resumed. Uh, we'll do one milligram of benefit. One milligram of benefit. Flush with 20 cc no muscle line. 20 cc no muscle line. Flush in. And prepare 300 milligrams of your drone. Keep it standby. Sure. 300 milligrams of your drone getting prepared. Thank you, guys. Great job. Okay. Feeding me. Thank you, Victor. Just double check for parameters of the ventilator. You are happy with that. Good morning. Thank you very much, Victor. Lady, tell me when the two minutes finished. Two minutes fast. Okay, I will hold the chest condition again. Let us analyze what type of evidence. Patient still have ventricular fibrillation. It's shockable with it. We need to do about the second dose of shock. 300 joules. Defibrillation. Please charge and deliver shock immediately. This is 360. Third shock. 360. 360, shock at 360 joules. Thank Ventilator you. Okay, all clear, please. Shock delivered. Okay, resume. And resume ventilator. Okay, ventilator is resumed. Please give the 300 milligram amiodron. 300 milligram of amiodron given and flushed with 20 cc nomocidine. And prepare one milligram of epinephrine, keep it to standby. Sure, one milligram of epinephrine, prepare. Zero minutes chest condition. Two minutes finished. Two minutes. Stop. Okay. We will roll the chest condition. We have sinus with them, organized with them. Please, Mr. Ala, can you check for pulse? I can see pulse, it's uh, matching the monitor, monitor. Excellent. We are on the return of the spontaneous circulation. At the moment, no need for chest compression machine. We can hold it, switch it off. Now, let us to uh, assess the patient again. Blood pulse pressure. Pulse already matching to the monitor, and the blood pressure, how much? Blood pressure is 80 over 40. So please, we need to give one liter cold saline. One liter saline started. Try to keep core body temperature between 32 to 36. Yes, core body temperature. Between... Next slide, 12 weeks ECG, 12 after stimulant and stimulant. I need IV access, blood samples again, for chemistry, cardiac markers, coagulation, and CBC. I need for the catheter, plus I need pneumatic commission device. We need to call the paramedics to come to transport the patient for ICU. While we waiting for paramedics, please let us to do the briefing for the case.
Can I throw this guy? I'm going to talk now.